Hey everyone, so we've got another SAT math problem. This one says in the system of equations below, A and C are constants. Uh, we have 1 half X plus 1 third Y equals 1 sixth, and then AX plus Y equals C. Uh, if the system of equations has an infinite number of solutions, what is the value of A? So if it has an infinite number of solutions, um, that means the two equations have to be the same, right? Because if you have two lines, then all the x values will yield the same y values, which means every x value for an infinite number of times is going to be a solution to the system. And therefore, we can just compare uh, both equations here. So the easy way to do, to do this is the most easy way, in my opinion, is to just set these on top of each other. So we have 1 half x plus 1 third y equals 1 sixth. And then we want to set this above so we have AX, so we're trying to find A. We don't know what that is yet, but we will in a second um, because we want these to be the exact same equation, right? So what is the difference between these two equations? Well, the first thing here is we can't really do anything on the, um, the coefficient of X over here quite yet, but what we can notice about the Y value is that the one on the top is one third Y, whereas the one on the bottom is just Y alone. And so what we can do is just scale everything up up here, multiply all this by 3, because then we will get y equals mx plus b, right? So if we put this over here, we have 3 times 1 half x, so that's just 3, 2x, and then we'll just have y plus y equals 1, 6. And then this one over here, if we bring this over, very instructional, you don't have to do complicated maths here, it's just very very simple so here we can see we were not asked to find c the value of c but we know it's a constant so here we can assume if it's the same line c here will probably be one six but the thing here we want to notice is that y's line up and so therefore the x's or the slopes must also line up so if we have the three uh three halves slope over here then we can assume that a also has to be three over two and therefore, our answer is D.